Hi, Michael. Yes. So in the original G1 Transformers, you played many uh, regular characters, mm -hmm. recurring characters, a lot of them. Uh, when you first saw this, so the question is when you first saw the script for Transformers the movie, and you saw that some of your main characters were being expired, uh, Prowl expired, um, Bombshell being uh, being basically evolved into somebody else who, and the fandom still debates who, uh, but you still had other characters left over, Swoop, uh, First Aid, at, just before the movie was still relatively new, yeah. so he got, he got some characterization season three. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that some of your main characters were being expired, what did you think of that when you first read the script? Who sent you up here? <laughs> your agent. That's what I thought. Yes. Um, you know, it's like anything else. When you're doing a soap opera, which I did, and you find out when you go to rehearsals that you're dead, mm. uh, the, f the first thing you say is, well, I guess there goes that sofa. Yeah. There goes that chair. There goes that desk I was going to get. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't feel that way with, with G.I. Joe or Transformers because, quite frankly, you, when you do so many characters that I did, mm -hmm. I knew I had a backup. And I knew if they, if they did kill them, as much as I love doing Prowl, right. that they may come up with a new character. And since, just to explain, you, no matter how many characters they give you, uh, according to a Screen Actors Guild and to the, to the Guild uh, rights, you can only do three characters for them. So if you've got a voice over here, and you have a voice over here, and you talk like this, you know, you've got three characters. They can't make you do any more. So they get, they get one actor to play three characters, so they get two actors for free, mm -hmm. as it were. If I have a character that's killed off and a new character is introduced, they're going to come to me. So right. I'm, I'm sort of every mask. Mm -hmm. So uh, I lose one child and I give birth to another one. So it's not the worst thing in the world. But when I did the movie and the um, attempt to kill off uh, my character, mm -hmm. obviously Duke, I said, screw that, kill my brother. <laughs> Who knows who he is? He's on camera. We don't give a crap about him. Right. Kill him. And uh, <laughs> they didn't. But they didn't kill me either, so I got away with something. Yeah. So it, and it, just, I think the death of Prowl was kind of sad. Right. But uh, in the final analysis, you know, I'm probably, I I'm, did something else, and they brought me in for some, I think, Dr. Fujiyama or something. They brought right. me in for other characters. So it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's just, hey, you know, it's the life of an actor. What are you going to do? I'm sure people that did The Walking Dead didn't want to die. <laughs> so. Okay. Thank you very much, You're Michael. Welcome. And thanks for coming back here. Sure.